When I see her, I speak, but she ain't speak back. So I'm looking like, what's up with that? Like, you can't speak now? Like, we was just hanging out. And you out here ducking and dodging me for what? It's your girl Shay and I'm back with another YouTube video. Yes, so today's video is going to be a story time. Yes, I know you've seen that thumbnail. I know you've seen that title. This story time is about how my friend stole from me. Okay, like before we get into this story, I'm going to need you guys to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Go to my channel. Go ahead and check out some other videos. If you haven't seen my last story time, I definitely will be putting that down in the description box below and the cards above. Put on that post notification bell so you won't miss a beat. So we're going to get right into the video. So the story takes place. When your girl worked at Walmart. Your girl worked at Walmart years back. I started working at Walmart in 2013. I was working there for five whole years, y'all. Too long. So I was when I started working at Walmart. I was a cashier. But um, you know, little friendly old me out here making friends, like always, made a friend. And we're gonna call her. We gonna call her auntie. Cause sis was older than me. Sis was older than, she was older than a lot of people that I, that I hung out with up in there. So I'm just call her auntie. Because you know, you, you already know, we not, we ain't saying their names y'all. Auntie was already working there. Auntie had been there. Auntie breathed, ate and lived Wally World, okay? I was a cashier. She was a CSM, so she was my supervisor. And yeah, so the issue had didn't start like from jump. Like we were cool. We were cool. We were friends. Like we were legitimately friends, y'all. Like me and me and Auntie, you me and Auntie click. Like me and Auntie clicked from from jump. Like she was cool. She was literally a cool lady. Like for real, for real, y'all. She was cool. We would hang out, you know what I'm saying? We would talk on the phone. I had been to her house. I had met, you know, her sister before she started working at Walmart. I met her children. Like, we were legit friends, y'all. Like, legitimately friends. Like, because I just keep being friends with people for years just for them to show me another side of themselves years later. Oh! Oh yeah, and if y'all haven't seen my last story time about Keisha, go ahead and check that out because I'm definitely gonna put that in the cards and in the description box below because sucks. So, back to the story. So I started working at Walmart as a cashier. Auntie was already working there. She was a CSM. So initially she was my supervisor. Okay, cool. She was cool. She was cool though. Like it was really like a group of females that I hung out with up there. A couple of years go by, you know, everything was cool. Everything was good. And I think about 2016, 2016, um, around that time, I was doing good with the money that I was making at Walmart, no lie. But I think 2015, 2016, around that time that I had decided that I wanted to earn a little bit more money. I wanted to find a little side hustle. I wanted, I want, I needed some extra income. So me and my dude at that time had decided to find another source of income. So I had, I had been looking into, uh, into hair because, because it was like a big commodity. It still is. But back then it was just the bundles, not all the frontals and all of that. So me and my dude at that time had decided to go ahead and go ahead and invest some money into do to selling some hair. So we did that. We went and got cards made. We we did the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? We we was trying to make it happen. So initially our first customers was our first customers was the people that worked with us. He worked at a call center with a whole bunch of females and where there's ladies, you know, ladies want hair. And I worked at Walmart where there's ladies, ladies want hair. So 
we were actually doing we were actually doing really well like we were doing good you know we were starting off really good we had people that were ordering the hair from us and you know etc and one of my customers was auntie one of my customers was auntie she was buying hair from me so she was a real friend, you know, she was supporting my little business, my little side hustle. So time passes by, I'm still in here for a while. And around her birthday time, which was in like November-ish time, she, she was planning a party. Auntie was planning a party for her birthday. And you know, she invited everybody she was cool with at the job. And we was ready. We was ready to get lit, turn up, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, she's walking around the job, inviting everybody to her party. And she was telling everybody the location or whatever. So like a couple of days after she had invited a whole bunch, like invited people to her party, she comes to me and she asks me if I had some hair on hand. So she told me, um, so she was like, Girl, I need some hair. You know, my birthday coming up. I need to invite you to my party, remember? So I was like, yeah, girl, I remember you invited me to your party. I can't wait, you know, to get lit, you know, turn up, have fun. So she was like, she was like, yeah, I was just coming over here to talk to you to see if I can get some hair from you. I'm like, yeah, what, what hair you need, girl? What, what length, what texture? Just let me know and I got you. So she let me know what, um what length, what texture she wanted, and then that was it. She was like, I was like, yeah, cool, I got that hair on hand. Actually, I'll bring it to you tomorrow. So she go back. At this point, I'm not even working on praying with her anymore. I work in the bakery. So after that little conversation, after she left from over, she go back, you know, to the front end to do her job. And then she hit me up later after she done left the whole, after she done left the job, and she hit me up on my phone and was like, Oh yeah, about the hair you gonna bring me tomorrow. I was just trying to see if I could pay you when we get paid because I kind of spent a lot of all of my money on this party, on the section, on the bottles, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So us being friends, I'm like, yeah, girl, like, girl, it ain't nothing. Like, it's nothing. Like, I wasn't even tripping on it. Like, it ain't even like sis got. 3 30 inches sis was getting some 12 14 16 inch like i wasn't tripping on that like that was actually the hair nobody was buying so she asked me to give it a hair and she would pay me back when we got paid which i know when we got paid because we both got paid on the same day hello we worked together okay so the day comes, her party comes. It was lit, y'all. She had a she had a section. I don't even know the name of the club. It was so it was such a while back. Um, I just know the party was lit, y'all. I was towed up. I just know I had a good time. We had fun. So I think she she ended up having her party on the weekend that I was off. So I get back to work like two days later after the party, and I see Auntie Auntie at the front end at the podium. So I go talk to her, you know, trying to, trying to, you know, bring up the party. Like, girl, I had fun. I had a good time, blah, blah, blah. She got this frown on her face. She looked mad, y'all. So I'm like, what's wrong? Like, what's wrong? Like, why you look so upset? And she was just like, well, it's been a long day. It's been a long day and uh, I'm just ready to go. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, if, you know, if you need to talk, you can come over there and talk to me. So, cause you know, I didn't work up in the front end with her anymore. I worked in the bakery. So I was like, if you need to talk, you know, you come over there and talk to me. And she was like, all right. So, you know, I'm thinking everything cool. Sus went home, didn't come talk to me. And I'm like, she must've really been upset. Like, I don't really know what upset her, but she must've really been upset. So a couple of, day, couple of more days go by. I think she was off this time. And then she come back to work and she ended up having to come to the bakery for something. And when I see her, I speak, but she ain't speak back. So I'm looking like, what's up with that? Like, you can't speak now? Like, we was just hanging out. So I don't understand why you can't speak at this point. But I just let it slide because she was really on some up and down roller coaster stuff around this time. So it's just getting closer and closer to the next pay period. And she's still 
acting distance with me. Okay. So I think literally the day before we got paid, she finally started speaking and was like, well, um, I forgot that I had to pay this and do this and do this and do this. So I'm going to get, I'm gonna have to get back with you on the next paycheck. Once again, we're friends, so I'm not even, you know, pressing the issue. I haven't even, I haven't even brought the stuff up to her attention or anything. Like I haven't been saying anything about the money, anything about the hair. You know, sis walking around with the bundles in her head, swinging it and stuff. You know what I mean? Acting like she's just that bee with the hair that I provided for her, and then she walking around acting like she don't even know me. No, let me say something. Like. You have the audacity, the audacity. And now you wanna come check in when it's near payday time? Girl, so while I got her attention, you know, while she talking to me trying to confirm that she gonna pay me the next pay period, not this pay period, but the next one, I'm like, so what's been going on? Like, I've been trying to talk to you, you've been ignoring me, blah, blah, blah. And she was just like, Oh, it's nothing like, it's nothing between me and you. I just been going through a lot and I just been needing some me time. And you know, she was, yeah, she started venting a little bit, you know? So I was like, okay, so I let all of that little, whatever that was, slide. Y'all, back then, I was, I was too nice. I was, I was too nice. Like, I was so nice that I would have literally let her have that hair. For her birthday but if she would have talked to me she would have known it so so still on edge about this hair like i'm i'm the one who gave you the hair and i'm i'm not even worried about it like for real like i'm the one who provided you with the hair and i'm the one who least worried about it like she was really making it a big deal and she the one who owed me Somebody make it make sense. Cause I don't get it. Make it make sense, y'all. I gave you the hair. You owe me money. But you treat me like I owe you something. That don't even make sense. It didn't make sense then, it don't make sense now. So things been going normal. It's getting closer and closer to that time where we about to get paid again. Okay. She started acting funny again. Like, sis really start acting funny with me again. Like, she comes to my department, gotta do a key turn, gotta add some money to the register, something, and she just really acting like she don't see me. She don't hear me. She don't, she not acknowledging me. I'm speaking, she ain't speaking back. I don't know myself. I don't know myself. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? At this point, I'm like, you're just being rude for what? You're being rude to me for what? I'll wait because that don't even make sense. Been knowing you for years. Been knowing you for years. Um, felt like we was on a level where I could trust you. Um, did you a favor? Did you a favor to us? I guess that's that's too much. I think maybe, maybe I was doing too much. Maybe maybe that's maybe maybe I maybe I was doing too much. <laughs> Even though I wasn't saying anything about the money, I ain't say nothing about the hair. Even though she's still walking around with the bundles in her head, you know, I ain't say nothing about the hair. But you mad? You mad at me for for what? Like I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. So for so the next pay period roll around, and Sus is like done. She is done. Like she ain't speaking when she see me. She look in the opposite direction. It's like, is it really that serious? Was it really that deep? Was it that deep that you had to stop talking to me for three bundles? Three short ass bundles at that. Like three bundleses? You stop talking to me for some bundles. You wanted some free hair. You could have just said that. <laughs> if you didn't want to be cool anymore, you could have just said that. Like, 
people in general just out here just being weird for no reason like how you be friends with somebody for years you ask them for a favor they do the favor and you decide to just stop talking to them somebody make it make sense because it, I still don't understand. Like one, auntie, you way too old. You way too old to be out here stealing bundles. Oh, that, that's what we doing. We stealing bundles. <laughs> that's what we doing. Let me remind you, she was my manager. The CSM making more coins than me. Like girl. Bruh, if you broke, just say that. You gonna invite me to your party. You know what I mean? Had a girl thinking we was good. Talking about you needed a little time to pay me. Girl, back then, the me back then, I would've just gave you the bundle, sis. I would've just gave it to you. No lie. No lie there. So I'm really like, is she serious? Like she really finna stop talking to me for some bundles, y'all. Three bundles. Three bundles, y'all. That was an inches nobody even wanted, sis. Like you stole bundles and lost a friend. Like who, who really took the ill here at the end of the day? Cause now you're just a roach. Oh. You're a roach. Because you think you finessing somebody? Well, you finessed three little ass bundles, sis. Like, like that is so sad. Like, sis, they didn't even look that good on you. Like, oh! You needed a frontal, because that leave out wasn't it. That leave out wasn't even it, boo. Like, somebody make it make sense. So sis really out here acting like I don't exist. At this point, her sister works there. She got a little animosity on her chest. They both just being hella rude, like walking around being rude. I could walk into the break room. She would get up and leave. Like sis, no, where you going? You just got here, sit down, enjoy your lunch. Don't make me make you leave. <laughs> oh! Cause you still rocking them bundles. Two months later, that you ain't paid for. And you out here ducking and dodging me for what? Oh. For three bundles and no closure, no frontal, no nothing. Like, pathetic, sad. Like, sis, that's what we doing? You a bundle thief? You a roach. You slimy. That's so sad. That's so sad. Like where, where, where is loyalty anymore? Are you really finna give up a friendship over some bundles? Like where the loyalty at? Your loyalty with them bundles? Because this the last time I checked, I was the one who gave you them bundles. And you walking around here acting like we got beef. Acting like we got problems. Well, the only person who had a problem with me because you stole from me. But you you were madder than I was. Like, once again, somebody make it make sense. Please. These roaches are out here. Like, I don't get it. Like, she really asked me to give her bundles, stated, I'm going to pay you on the next payday. Didn't pay me on that payday. Told me she was going to pay me on the next payday. Didn't pay me on that payday. And then boom. Tried to ghost me like we ain't like we don't see each other on the daily. Tried to ghost me like we don't work together. So I hit sis up. I'm texting her. She blocked me. She blocked me, y'all. Like she went, she went extreme measures over three bundles, y'all. Three. And your longest limb was 16. Like. You think you got one up on me. Those bundles were just sitting there. Nobody orders that length, sweetheart. Nobody was ordering that length, okay? Like, 
You really did me a favor taking that off my hands. Like, since I could've, I could've gave you the hair. Like, I really thought we was that, that cool. Like, I would've let you just have the hair. Like, but you took it and then treated me as if I owed you something. Like, Miss CSM, Miss Manager. Girl, really walking around dodging me. Dodging me. Like, I could call for a CSM. She would make sure the other CSM come to my department. I could walk in the break room. She would get up and leave. Because of me? Because of me and three bundles. Girl. Girl. Somebody make it make sense. I know y'all tired of me saying that, but it just don't make sense. Like, how you out here friending somebody for three years just to say, I'm gonna just stop talking to you. Cause I stole some bundles. You gave me hair and now I give you attitude. I'm not gonna pay you back. I'm just gonna stop talking to you. Like, I don't get it. So she walking around, dodging me, acting like we have beef, when she only beefing with herself. Cause she's the bundle thief. She's the roach. She was broke. Like, it was really that simple. It was really that simple. <laughs> but sis made it a big deal, like for real. Like, I should have reported her big Jolly Green Giant ass. I should have reported her big Jolly Green Giant ass. You like 40, standing 6'2". I hear stealing bundles, just pathetic. It's pathetic. It's sad, actually, it's sad. Like, bye. Like, girl, I looked at you like an actual friend. Like, I would have gave you the bundles. I would have let you have a hair. Like, it was never an issue on my end. You made it an issue. She made it a whole issue. Like, she not the one who was stealing it from me. She made it a whole issue. Like, she wasn't the the bundle thief. Oh! Just devious and vindictive. That's sad. That is so sad. That you had to stoop that low and steal bundles. Because if we were really friends, you knew that I was doing that to keep extra money in my pocket. So we were never even really friends if you were still for me. Like, like a whole friendship, like really just gone. Because you want, you want some free bundles. Cause you wanna steal. So that is the story about how my friend stole from me, Auntie Roach, yes, Auntie Roach. And she probably still working at Walmart, stealing from the young cashiers, that's so sad. Like girl, grow up. At your age, ma'am. So yes, you guys, that concludes my story time. Hope you guys enjoyed the story about this little roach, Auntie Roach. If you enjoyed that video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to your channel because subscribing is free. You know, it's free to support me. Just click the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment if you've ever came across an Auntie Roach in your life. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one because they out there. They out there lurking in the bushes where they belong. Out on them streets, little roaches. But anyways, don't forget to go follow your girl on Instagram at Melanie underscore love. Um, if you haven't seen my last story time, don't forget to go check that out. It will be down in the description box and I will have it up in the cards. I don't know what side it's gonna be on, but it's gonna be up in these cards. So go ahead and check out that story time by Keisha. Yup. Yes, you guys. And with that being said, you already know it is a wrap.